My name is Yasmin Al Mihiri, and I run a website called Supermama.me, uh, the first parenting community for Arab mothers. We came up with the idea when uh, my sister-in-law was pregnant, and um, uh, we figured out that not all mothers in uh, the Arab world uh, find it easy to find medical information and parenting information for them and their children, especially in Arabic language. There is three of us founders, myself, I am the CEO, Zainab, she is the product director, and Shireen, she is the marketing director. The biggest risk was uh, quitting my job and focusing solely on Supermama since January and putting all my savings into it. That goes for me and my two other partners. But we think it's worth it because uh, the progress that the site has shown and the potential it has uh, it justifies this risk, definitely. We have a very mixed team, really. We have uh, three people, full-time employees, working with us, other than the founders. But then we have a very large network of uh, researchers and writers. These are the mothers working from home. And we have also have a network of experts, both uh, doctors and teachers and psychologists, nutritionists and exercise specialists, that cover the different topics that we cover in Supermama. We all work offline from our homes. We communicate using Skype and email daily, uh, discussing different topics and uh, making decisions. The writers and researchers send their work in through emails and we send it for verification to the doctors and specialists. Uh, our audience is the Arab moms, in Egypt specifically and in the Arab uh, world in general. We provide them with information, tools and a place for them to discuss their problems and get answers from experts. As for our customers, we basically sell online advertisement in different ways, like banners, sponsorship, product reviews, and even product placements inside the articles and videos. From the old wives tales that we face a lot is the typical myth of if your pregnancy is high, it's a boy, and if it's low, it's a girl, or if you're beautiful during your pregnancy, it's a girl. Although, uh, medically speaking, uh, the gender is only determined long after that, and it's based on genetics and not on the shape of the stomach or on the beauty of the face. But the most controversial topic that we faced was talking about male contraception. Many women were shocked to figure out that men can use contraceptives as much as women could. We plan to grow our business to become the number one community for mothers in the Arab world by 2015. Because we want to offer all types of content and not just articles. Articles, videos and audio content. And we also want to bridge the gap between the online and offline becoming uh, the, the one place that all mothers go to when they look for parenting information. So far, like with all IT projects, the main purpose in the first year is to grow the community and then after the first year you start generating lots of profit. Our projection shows that we will generate over 10 million Egyptian pounds after the first year of sales. The highest point was winning three competitions in a row, proving that we uh, Arab women can do it. We've won a competition in Poland and a competition in Egypt and prior to that another competition in Egypt. The last of which was uh, Pan-Arab and one of them was across all Europe. So it just proves that we can do it and that the site has a lot of potential. Mm -hmm.